Let's talk about our Coachella Valley from lifestyle, beauty, food, fun, and much more. This is Desert Chat with your host, Sandy Newton. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Desert Chat. I'm Sandy Newton. Thanks so much for joining us. You know, every week we meet all the great people and businesses and nonprofits from around our valley and from around our table. First up, well, it is officially July. Happy July, everyone. <laughs> and it is one of the hottest months of the year, experts tell us, everywhere in the world on this side of the equator. And of course, we know that. That means our beautiful desert community is going to be even hotter than it already is. Hard to believe. <laughs> we still love our incredible oasis though, so we want to share some great ways to enjoy our valley regardless of the heat. And our friends at BMW Performance Center have one of the best ways to have some amazing and sizzling fun. <laughs> our team chat recently went out to their facility in Thermal to check out their great summer deal to, in essence, become a somewhat professional race car driver. Oh my gosh. Strap yourself in friends because we had the time of our lives. <laughs> Let's watch. Hey Matt. Hello. How are you? Oh, I'm great. This is fabulous. Yes. What a gorgeous facility. Yes, welcome to the BMW Performance Center. Great. How do I get started? Let's get you checked in. Okay. So, what's in store for me today, Matt? Yeah, so, today uh, <laughs> you'll be doing the M Summer Competition. Nice. So, that is a two hour program um, and that consists of timed competition runs in the M240s as well as drag racing in a bunch of different models. Oh my gosh, actual drag racing. Actual drag racing. <laughs> You'll be up against another person and timed runs too, so it's all about the competition. And this is a special summer deal. This is, so it's $199. It's the cheapest program that we've offered and we're running it all summer long. Perfect. Yeah, and you can find more information at bmwperformancecenter.com or our Instagram at BMW Performance Driving Schools. Great, should we try Let's it? Let's head out. Let's go. Matt, so this is the actual track. Absolutely, yeah. It is fabulous, and this is the actual car. Yes, yeah, so you will be in M240s for your the first half of the day. Okay, this is beautiful. Yes, and this is <laughs> this is Rob Stout, our lead driving instructor. Hey, Rob. Welcome out. Well, I'm putting myself in his hands, which is safe. What's going to happen? <laughs> so we've got uh, one of our most fun, common, competitive exercises set up that we're going to head out to right away, and it's our timed competition. Okay. Uh, so one of the primary rotations we run in the summer competition program. So uh, whenever we get out there, basically I'm going to give you an opportunity to follow me around the course. I'm going to go over some of these uh, different things that we want to touch base on, like our driving line, how we really want to be controlling the car from a performance standpoint. Uh, we're going to set up a timing system while we're out there, and we're going to see what kind of lap times you can throw down. Oh, no, I didn't know it was going to be a test. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, fun. you'll do fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, should we start, Rob? Yeah, let's get ready to jump in this M240i and we'll go show you around the course. Sounds like fun. Perfect. Thanks, Matt. Thank you. So when you're here, you'll be waiting for my cue on the radio. I'll say, okay, you're good to go now. And as soon as I say you're good to go, you're full throttle taken off. And we do have our electric timing and scoring system out here. So as we get about 15 feet in front of us, we're gonna trigger that starting beam and you're gonna be officially on the clock. Go ahead and take off. All right, timer has started. We are now on the clock. Keep the momentum up, keep the momentum up. Look down for that bar, stay on the power, stay on the power. You want to stay on the throttle all the way to the last second, and then we're going to attack the brake like we mean it. Very good, 40.6615 seconds faster than your previous lap. That's a great chunk of time to take away. Hey, Matt. How was it? Oh my gosh, that was amazing. Great. And I shaved six seconds off my you, best score. You did a great job. Right? Oh yeah. my gosh, that was fantastic. I loved it. Yeah, you got to come out more often. I'm going to come out as often as I can. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Absolutely. High five. <laughs> <laughs> wow, 
so amazing, right? It was just the best time ever. Thank you to all the great and patient <laughs> instructors and their great team. It was really the most amazing experience. Thank you and thanks for the great summer discount too. Next up, well, speaking of speed, speeding on a racetrack is one thing, of course, but speeding on our streets and highways, yeah, that's a big no-no. It is crucial that we pay attention to speed limits and the rules of the road, of course. We know that, but unfortunately, traffic accidents and fatalities are on the rise in our community. So our Palm Springs Police Chief, Andy Mills, and his officers have come up with a great way to remind ourselves to slow down and obey the law. Let's find out more. Welcome back to Desert Chat, Chief. You've been on at least once before with Do the Right Thing every month, of course. Right. Yeah, <laughs> it's great to be here, Sandy. It's always nice to see you. Well, we love having you in the studio because we're talking about something today that is really amazing. And I'm so excited to let our viewers know about Operation Rear View Mirror. If you look in your mirror, there might just be a set of red and blue lights <laughs> flashing behind you, so you gotta be careful in Palm Springs right now. Right, and we don't wanna see that. So talk to me about this initiative, which I understand your wife, Kathy, who's such a great community member, kind of helped you create. Yeah, you know, the community told us that traffic was one of their highest priorities, and so Kathy and I were talking about it one night over dinner, and uh, you know, I said, we need to start an operation to you know, really clamp down traffic, because when you have 78 vehicular deaths in a, in a six year period, wow. that's far too many. Wow. So we really need to figure out how to clamp down on that. Yeah. So I was telling her, we, we need a new operation. An operation, we already had, you know, Relentless Sun, so that we don't want to do that. Sure. And uh, she said, well, what about Operation Rearview Mirror? Because the last thing you want to do is see a red and blue lights in your rearview mirror. Yep. And uh, all of us get nervous when there's a black and white car behind us. Even <laughs> I do, do. Too? I do too. So. <laughs> So I thought, well, that actually makes a lot of sense. So, nice. So know, it's a little it. sticker that we can mm -hmm. get. How Tell our viewers how they yeah, can get so it. Yeah, so if somebody wants a little sticker, come on down to the police station. And it's just a reminder, as you see it in your rearview mirror, that you need to slow down, stop for red lights, and don't roll through stop signs. Because we are writing uh, an immense amount of tickets. It looks right now like it's going to be about a 200% increase. Wow. And what do you attribute that to? You know? The officers have, are taking this very seriously. I right. mean, I tell everybody in my department, from me to the newest person in, the, in patrol, we will all go out and write tickets. I went out and wrote a few tickets, which I hadn't done in probably 20 years. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's great to know that you care so much about our community because obviously 78 vehicular deaths is way too many and it just is not okay. We've got bikers out there, pedestrians out there, strollers, right. wheelchairs, walkers. It's crucial. So uh, tell us about your website as well. Maybe they can get more information on the website. Yeah, if they just go to the Palm Springs Police Department website, there's information there. They can also get on all of our social media uh, outlets, right. both mine, personal one, as well as the departments. Great. And the main thing is, let's be safe. I'd rather not have to write any tickets. And if people would slow down, uh, stop for red lights, uh, I think we would we would really improve our safety. Great. Well, thank you so much for all you do. Great idea. You'll be seeing a sticker on my uh, rear view mirror very soon. I'll get a handful <laughs> of them for you. Great. Thanks. <laughs> Mm, such an amazing initiative. Thank you so much, Chief. And thanks to your wonderful wife, Kathy, for helping create this really important new program. I will be getting my sticker this week. <laughs> Don't go away when we come back. We talk to our great friend, Raju Mehta from El Paseo Jewelers about his recent big birthday. And we head back out to Frank's hideout for more updates. Stay with us. Welcome back to Desert Chat. Well, as we said, it's officially July, so we'll be talking about the beautiful July birthstones with our good friend Raju Mehta, as always, in an upcoming episode. But this week, Raju wanted to reflect on his recent big birthday and share some thoughts and wisdom on that occasion with us. Well, Raju, last month you had a very big birthday. You think it's a big birthday because you said now you're a senior citizen, you're 65. Yeah, the last year was 65 year old. I had 65th birthday. And I'm officially a senior citizen. I got my <laughs> Medicare card. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get soon enough the uh, money from government. <laughs> I don't know how much, but we did. We do. Uh, and you know this uh, that was yesterday uh, 30th of June was my birthday and 9th is my wife's birthday yes. and 
you know, for me, uh, it's a new start, beginning of new chapter. Nice. This is the fourth egg. This is the last egg <laughs> in that way. <laughs> okay. But I'm enjoying this very. I'm enjoying the way people treat me and we treat people back and we enjoy mm -hmm. selling jewelry as you know, in Palm Desert has given me a lot of joy. Nice, nice. Well, you know, you've been here for weddings and proposals, engagements, anniversaries, so much joy with jewelry. Well, we sell happy things. Yes. And when we sell happy things, it's any woman who gets a piece of jewelry put a smile on her face. <laughs> so, you know, I think this is, for my last act, it will be very satisfying act. Uh, you know, I had a up and down in life like everybody mm -hmm, else mm -hmm. and uh, we just here, I think I found it, the final destination, but a beautiful one. I love it. And there's no, we're not worried that you're going to retire, right? Never. Uh, I always tell my customer from El Paseo Jewelers to Crematorium. <laughs> And you know, if I'm making my last sale and the death of God is right next to me to take it, take me, I say, please let me finish the sale. <laughs> well, that's a great attitude and that'll keep you young. You're healthy, you're happy, you have a beautiful family, a beautiful business. You give back so much to our valley. I think it is the perfect combination for a beautiful third act. No, it is a beautiful combination. Hopefully, it will continue, <laughs> God willing. And happy birthday to you. Thank you. <laughs> hmm, so wonderful. Thank you so much, Raju, for sharing those incredible insights. Here's to decades more of wonderful times ahead for you and your dear family. We love you, and we appreciate all you do for Desert Chat and for our community. Thank you, and happy birthday young man. <laughs> Next up, well, when we last visited the new social club Frank's Hideout in Palm Desert, we learned about what a social club is really all about. It's a very cool new addition to our valley, and this week we learned more about their incredible array of adult beverages, and mocktails too, that are among the best in the area. Hey Joe! Hey Sandy, how So are you? happy to be back here at Frank's Hideout. I love it. And you know what? Last time we kind of touched on some of your drinks and mm -hmm. mocktails, mm -hmm. but we want to talk about this amazing, kind of the largest collection of spirits and wines in the valley. Yeah, we have a large selection. We, again, we, we take suggestions from people too. So whatever we can get, whatever we can bring in, but if you wanted to come in and have a beautiful old fashioned, a bourbon old fashioned or a rye old fashioned, we'll make it for you. Nice. Uh, the garnishes are all special. We have. We, again, everything we do is also fresh. So any juices or anything are all fresh squeezed. Wow. All the mixes, ginger ale tonic, they're all come in glasses. Nice. Sodas come in a can. We don't use a gun for anything. Nice. So I'd like to have Keenan make you a smoked old fashioned, which is kind of our specialty. I love that. Now, that's not going to be a mocktail. No, this is going to be for real. <laughs> for real. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Yeah. So the smoking aspect of it is very dramatic and I guess really enhances the flavor. Yeah, and of course it, you know, it adds a smoky touch to it, which enhances the bourbon itself, which is always a nice touch. And then we use, uh, we boil our the water before we make our ice cubes. So oh. they're perfectly clear and perfectly round, so they last longer. They don't crack open immediately when you put them in the drink. Wow. Um, we also have some food selection. Great. Um, over here, if you'd like to see. Yum, we I love can, that idea. We have a charcuterie tray that we do on a regular basis <gasps> Lovely. Here for sale. Lovely. Um, oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, so again, nice place to come before you go out to dinner, to just meet some friends in the afternoon. Well, again, a social club uh, kind of speaks to membership. So mm -hmm. talk to our viewers about the fact that they can sample Frank's hot out if they want to. Yeah, it's very simple. We have a very nice website um, that was done a while back. It's FrankHideoutPD.com. Nice. And they can go there. They can they can fill out a form there to come in and stop and, and to check out the place. You can call us and sort of make a, an, a, an arrangement just to make sure everybody's here or that we're open or we don't have a special event going on that night. So it's a great, you've been open since January. Yep. A great place, as you said, to be with friends. It's not so loud mm -hmm. as some of the restaurants are. Right. Fabulous drinks, mm -hmm. fabulous snacks, mm -hmm. and friendship. What else could yeah, you ask for? Exactly. What more, what more do you want to be in the desert? Right? And a little bit of Frank. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so much fun and I love those refreshing mocktails. Thank you so much. Don't go away when we come back. We meet the two very enterprising partners behind Coachella Valley Volkswagen and we visit our friends at Agua Caliente Casinos for some delicious treats. Stay with us. Welcome back to Desert Chat. Well, have you been to Cafe 111 yet at the Agua Caliente Casino in Cathedral City? You know, it's been winning many awards for its fabulous food and delicious beverages. So we decided to stop by to grab a bite with our good friend Pearl and discovered some great new updates about this fun and delicious eatery. Hey Pearl. Hi Sandy, how are you? I'm great. I'm so happy to be here at Cafe 111. Yes, welcome. And this is your first time here, correct? It is. I'm so excited. Good. Well, after today, we're going to make you a regular. Oh good. Okay. okay. Um, thank you for being here and also I can't wait to introduce you to over um, specials for the summer, which include mouth-watering um, menu items. I like to start off with the uh, brunch, the bottomless mimosa brunch every Saturday and Sunday wow. from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Wow. Okay, and let me tell you what you get. Okay. So, you know, you have your fan faves like the classic Eggs Benedict, as well as steak and eggs, omelets, chicken and waffles, nice. and also bottomless mimosas. And what do we have here? Well, I want to start you off with our lavender infused lemonade. Mm. You can already smell it, like you I said, can. and the flavors. It is amazing. Oh my goodness. Ooh, fabulous. Right? And what do you have? Well, this one here is the strawberry peach lemonade, also to die for. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> And another special we have is our happy hour menu this summer. Oh, fantastic. So when is that available, the hours, and what is the cost for that? It is from Monday to Thursday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m., and it's 50% off uh, specialty cocktails as well as beer and wine and $10 appetizer menu. Yeah. Um, and speaking on our special menu, Ooh. Here's Nikki bringing us a couple of treats here. Hey, Nikki. Hello. So Nikki, what do we have here? We have a honey glazed jalapeno chicken, one a bed of steamed vegetables. We have roasted peppers and onions. And nice. you have potato taquitos with a pico, a little um, avocado, and cilantro. Thank you so much. Delicious. Thank you. Thank you. It looks so delicious, Pearl. I yes. can't wait. Tell our viewers where they can get more information. Well, you can get our full list of menu items on um, our website as well as our specials. Our website address is aguacalentecasinos.com. And so you can come in at Agua Caliente Cathedral City, play some slots, come and have a great meal or happy hour, a quick snack, and we're here for you. Great. Can we start? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Mmm, yum. <laughs> Always a great time with great people at the Agua. Thanks so much, Pearl. We will see you back there again soon. And speaking of great people, the two partners responsible for the very successful Coachella Valley Volkswagen dealership on the I-10 are amazing. They have a thriving business and are great community members who are very proud and happy to be celebrating their very first anniversary in our community. And to that end, they wanted to share with us an incredible incredible new opportunity for all of us to win a pre-loved VW. That's right, it's their way of thanking our valley and it's all tied to a local nonprofit. Let's find out more. Welcome back to Desert Chat, Corinne, and welcome Janine. We didn't get a chance to meet you the last time we talked to Corinne, but so nice to have you as both female co-owners of Coachella Valley Volkswagen. Thank you for having us. Well, we are so impressed with your great business acumen and you are celebrating actually your year anniversary. We certainly are. And as part of that celebration, Sandy, um, we're doing a heartfelt gesture of giving away a car. Amazing. <laughs> well, here are all the details. You're doing it in partnership, of course, with Coachella Valley Rescue Mission, yep. their Backpack Bonanza. So these uh, cartons will be placed throughout the valley. Folks can put in school supplies, backpacks, like the cute one you've got there, Corinne. Yes. <laughs> Lilo and Stitch, so cute. Yes. Uh, we really want to help kids have a great school year start. But you are donating a 
car to, as a wonderful incentive for folks to step up and do the right thing. Absolutely. If you bring in a backpack with five school supplies in it, you're automatically entered in to win a Volkswagen Jetta. That's it. That's as easy as it is. Just bring in a backpack and you're entered to win a car. That is amazing. And they have until August 9th. August 9th. So give our viewers the address so they know where to go. 79050 Varner Road off the I-10. Fantastic. Well, I know that this really is every year, I think it's their 16th year, Coachella Valley Rescue Mission has done this, but how wonderful for you to step up as new business partners and really give back to the community as well. We just wanted to give back and say thank you to a community who's been so welcoming and generous with us. So it's our way of saying thank you and giving back. Well, thank you to both of you. Happy year anniversary. Thank and you. Uh, you know what, friends? All you need is five school items and a backpack. Enter to win by August 9th. That is a great deal. That's all you do. It's just that easy. So appreciated. Thanks so much. Thank you for thank having you, us. Sandy. Thanks thank for you. having us. Mm, thank you so much, ladies, for this wonderful outreach, helping our local school kids get a great start in the new school year. And congratulations again on your year anniversary. Here's to many more. Well, now it's time for our weekly Spotlight 29 Desert Chat Entertainment Spotlight. Get ready for Average White Band coming to town. Let's go round and round again with this funk and RB classic band in the desert. Friday, August 23rd, showtime is 7 p.m. and tickets start at just $20. And don't forget, every Wednesday, savor every bite of Coachella's premium cut prime rib complemented with a colossal baked potato. Only at Spotlight 29 Casinos can you experience a cut above the rest. That's our prime rib special at Tap Room 29. Great stuff as always. And before we go, let's shine a light on a great fundraiser for our friends at the Museum of Ancient Wonders. Filmmaker John McCrite brings a sneak preview of Pink Belt, a stunning human rights documentary to our desert to benefit the relocation of the Museum of Ancient Wonders and the formation of the brand new LGBTQ plus World History Museum to Palm Springs. So awesome. The sneak preview will be July 19th at 5 p.m. at the Mary Pickford Theater in Cathedral City. Please check out their website, moaw.org, for more details. A great event benefiting a great nonprofit. Well, that does it for this week's show. You know, we love shining a light on all of the great people and businesses that make our valley a place like no other, despite this crazy heat. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Have a great week. Remember to help one another and be kind and stay cool. For Desert Chat, I'm Sandy Newton. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.